uh, album ya ngoma moja when it comes to Henry Desago's uh, content no not really that was he's very creative mm -hmm. yeah but for the corporates we do scripts so how does you how do you guys come up with such projects it's a completely like a mirror reflection of what happens yeah, in the yeah, society yeah. and there's on, no script you just look on what is happening in the society mm -hmm. what is affecting people mm -hmm. and then we pull it yeah. Okay, so uh, Kasenti, let's look at the marketing strategy. So what are a couple of marketing strategies that has worked for Unlimited Focus Media? media? Um, we have uh, other several partners who are experts in that field. It's good to, do, to get people who are best in the area that you're not in. Mm -hmm. So we have partners who are, um, are doing digital marketing for us. And I think they, they would be in the best position to answer that because they know how they do their magic. Yeah. They should come should come to yes. yeah. <laughs> to the Blue Ship Tuesday next time. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, so as the country resumed normalcy, Stevenson, and um, we're just, you know, getting to just leave the new norm uh, after COVID-19 or with COVID-19. What is the, uh, do you guys have a business plan, a strategy to just uh, increase on your... Uh, income yeah sure when sure. it comes to the business after we met with Kasenti, mm -hmm. we discovered that people want to learn how to play instruments how to do the vocal trainings and all this and so we are coming we are coming up with a school mm -hmm. that will be doing the music part of it and the film part of it okay and so we are as well going to sign artists but the potential ones and again, we are going to raise talents that are invisible, they are outside. Anybody mm -hmm. who is talented, we are going to be seeking them and raising some talents. Mm -hmm. And as well, we are aiming higher to a point that we are going to do some international projects with various artists from the outside country. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, for you, Kasenti, have you been in a situation whereby uh, a person approaches you? And they feel like they're very talented, they're artists, maybe even content creators, and they have this particular idea, scripts. Maybe they've done a couple of projects, but they have not buzzed in the entertainment scene. Are you honest to them and, tell, and actually tell them that actually from where I'm seated, you need to put in more work? Or how do you handle that particular situation? Um, number one, I tell them, if there's room for growth, you know you can't just tell them you're bad. Mm -hmm. Some people go home and... <laughs> feel bad and they quit you tell them okay you have a very good thing going on here but you need to grow from this point to this point and this point okay. for you to get to where you you want to go right now where you are in your head you're not there yet so these are the steps that you need to take mm -hmm. and i will show you the steps i'll not just tell you you just go do this i'll show you i'll give you tutorials i'll give you someone who is good at it if i can do it i'll do it for you yeah right. okay and how can content creators ensure that they fully monetize in their in their spaces just uh apart just from youtube that is they have they have adverts <laughs> they have adverts they have some of them are mcs so there are many ways there are many loopholes of making money for them mm -hmm. as well as they are making money i'm also getting opportunity because when they are going to do that show i'll be doing the camera work and all that i'll be doing the coverage Mm -hmm. So, but more so, I'm not. We are not that much into the influencers. Only we do artist videos, music videos for artists. I remember we are the one who changed the 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 norms of the vernacular artist doing shoddy shoddy videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. we did one video for one guy. Oh, what's the name of the artist? Jose Latutura. I did for Samido. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And we changed the whole the whole thing. The whole concept yes, or now the whole perception. When you, when you check on their videos, they are doing quality videos. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how do you guys come up with your rating cards for projects? What do you look at? What are the major things that you look out for? It depends with the script. And then it depends again with the client. Kuna client on Africa Bay. Kuna mungine lazima. You check on the strategies on which uh, he's aiming at. Mm -hmm. So most of it, most so it's about the, 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 the script. Budget comes out of from script. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Cassandra, I'd like you to describe the whole process, not uh, b briefly, yeah? Okay. The whole process uh, when an artist comes to you and asks for an audio production. What is the most important thing that you, that the kind of conversation that you have with that particular artist? Uh, number one, we have different artists. Mm -hmm. 
we have an artist who has a song and a melody. That one is very easy. Because What's the, the difference? Uh, an artist who has a, a song already and a melody, mm -hmm. it's easier for me to make a beat. Okay. There's an artist who will tell you, make me s this kind of a beat, I need this type of a sound. And then they will go right. Mm -hmm. Then there's an artist, he's a very good artist, they don't know how to write, they don't know how, how where to, they don't have melodies, so we get someone to write for them, if we can, we write for them. Mm -hmm. Then after that is done, mm -hmm. then we get in the beat making process, song arrangement, recording, mixing and mastering. Mm. Yeah. What are a couple of financial lessons that you have learned along through four years down the road? Uh, more than 12, <laughs> you're still 12, 12 years. years. Yeah. And for the unlimited uh, focus media, that's what I'm looking at, the, the company that both of you own. Um, for every creative, it's good to monetize your art. It's okay. good to protect whatever you've created. Mm. No one can pay you enough for, for whatever you've created. Okay. So. The lesson that we've learned is you have to protect your creation. Mm. Yes, and now where we are at this age, it's very possible and it's very easy and you can do that globally. Mm. Yeah. What a couple of uh, achievements uh, that the company has experienced? At least now we have uh, fully equipped studios. Mm -hmm. We have the equipment that we needed. We have trained guys who are in the office from the reception, to the audio producers, to the camera men and all that. And so uh, on the marketing side as well, we have guys who are doing it well. So we don't go for that. All right. You guys will agree with me when it comes to uh, owning uh, tools of production. They're quite very expensive. How did you guys hack that particular situation? Um, for Cassenti production, when you really need something really bad, mm -hmm. you save. <laughs> sure, you sure. save, like you really, really save. Mm. And make sure you get what you want. Yeah. Yes, even if it's not what you, you want, at that, you, you can afford at that particular time, get the tools that will work for you. Mm -hmm. The advantage of this generation is that there are so many companies doing good quality, producing good quality equipment and tools that we can use mm -hmm. and give the best for any type of client. Right. Yeah. Couple of uh, the current couple of challenges that you're actually facing. Uh, there are those clients who are like they bring you a project, they tell you I want to do like that one of these Nigerian artists. In details. Yes. <laughs> I give you that. I want that quality. Mm -hmm. But when you bring in the budget, the Colonel Fukumi <laughs> So you're like for real? And you want that uh, whiz, whiz kid uh, mm, video. video. Yeah, that is one of the challenges. The second one is that uh, for the film production, we have not been in a position to have the ratings of uh, being paid. Unafanya msani video, akuna pesa utapata, at least for the audio, okay. uh, when they are doing the monetization, an audio producer can be paid. For mm. the video directors, ni wao ulipisha video kwa umetoka hapo, akuna kisuka. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Are there any future like uh, changes that are going to be taken just to fix that situation? Whereby, like in future, even after production, we can actually still monetize from. Yeah, that's right. Some the of the directors work. and some of my friends who are directors, we have come up with the strategies where we are, where we are approaching the corporate guys to see whether we can have some mm. something to be done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any new projects coming up? Yes. That's where you actually, you know, couple mention of them. <laughs> <laughs> Very big project coming mm -hmm. up. We have a song together. Uh -huh. I have my own songs. He has right. his own songs. He directs even my songs. I direct his songs as well. I think that's yeah. an advantage part of it. Having, <laughs> the, yeah. having like uh, a bit of both worlds in one place and yeah. you being friends also. Yeah. Uh, so what does the future look like for the future, for the unlimited <laughs> focus media? Yeah, uh, as well, he has uh, his own dreams. Atuja, uh, there is no way that I can say that he's limited in doing his own things. Okay. Um, as well, I'm not limited in doing my things. There are those projects which comes and I do it on my side. There are those projects we do as partners. So we are not limited. And so there are those dreams that I want to reach into. Because I want to do even awards to appreciate artists who are working hard. We also need to do like we are aiming, uh, when I'm talking about uh, the, the academy, we want to raise and nurture talents. Because back then when we were growing up, if there was no one like him to nurture me a bit, 
maybe I would have not been here. Mm -hmm. So we want to give back to the society. And that will be the biggest achievement we will have. All right. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. I like that yeah. uh, vision. Uh, Kasente, just to wind up, what's your take on the current uh, music, uh, the current music entertainment scene in Kenya currently? Um, I would say first, we are very, 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 very extremely blessed mm -hmm. with amazing talents, amazing producers, amazing directors, amazing artists. Um, I think we are in a good place because fans are listening to our music just mm -hmm. to get your content out there uh, and for new artists make sure you monetize your creation yeah just make sure you monetize your creation get people who will understand your vision uh, like for us me and steven we understand the artist situation what okay. they go through we mm -hmm. do videos so we know what they go through so when they come here you know okay we understand your situation um, this is what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But the music scene in Kenya, in Kenya is doing very, very, very well. All right. Yeah. And speaking about you understanding the artist situation, mm -hmm. you, uh, you guys have been mentioning that you are actually musicians, and this is the collaboration that you guys did on the screen, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Was the name of the song? <laughs> uh, should uh, Testimony. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, when was it launched? Uh, this year, mm -hmm. but uh, it was sleeping in the studio for like three years. Why? Um, <laughs> Why three years? That's a long time. Uh, we are waiting for its time. Yeah. Uh -huh. We have a very big backlog. You know, mm -hmm. there's something, you, some things you don't have to hurry. You okay. just, you just, you just do good content, then plan uh -huh. for the releases. The right time to actually yes. release. This song is new to the person who will hear it today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Bet you it made there are huge collabs coming up, mm -hmm. possibly this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you balance it? The business, uh, the business side of uh, this, which is you being behind the camera, video production, and also audio production, and you being an artist. Where do you even get time to write your music? What I can say myself is the reason as to why I'm a film director is because I started as a musician, and that is what pushed me to become a director. The reason I'm a director is because I want to be creative in my own writings and in my, in my own music. So I just want to work so hard, get the creatives and do it on my own. Even if today there are no clients, I will do it for myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, what about you? It comes naturally. Music. So music and business. Music gives you the platform to do, to do business. Mm -hmm. And if, if you take music as a business, you mm -hmm. can actually make something out of out of the music you make. So it all starts from the love, the passion. Yes. And then everything just falls into place. Yes. Thank you guys for creating time to be with us and talking about matters pertaining the entertainment uh, service the industry. So how can guys reach out to you if they have future projects and they would love to work with you? Um, you yes, can you can use Camera One. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you can get us, uh, Kasenti, at mm -hmm. Kasenti, C A H C E N T I, on all platforms. Uh, you can get at Steven Sun sure. or Unlimited Film, mm -hmm. Unlimited, just the Unlimited Focus. Mm -hmm. So, either of us, whoever you get first, you get everyone. Y sure. You guys offer training? Yes, yes. yes we do. Alright, so guys can reach out for if they need training in video, also, audio production. Work. Yes, hence the school and <laughs> everything. That's all right, thank you guys for creating time to be with us today. Thank you. Alright, that's all we had for you right in this particular session when you're looking at uh, entertainment uh, service industry. Make sure you stay tuned because we have more right here on Wine in the Morning.